Okay, so I had like a whole introduction. Introduction. Ooh, I had a whole introduction um, going for what was going on. I know the setup is not ideal, but if I sit in my room and pretend, not even pretend, if I sit in my room and I try and study, nothing's going to happen. Because I'm just going to sit there on my bed. I don't like working in my room. So I'm in the living room. So that's why you've got washing like a normal person's house. Instead of like everyone else on YouTube that kind of somehow seems to never have anything wrong in their life. Or normal. <laughs> Which is kind of um, like they lead the perfect life. Eh, okay. So, uh, or uh, um, I don't know if I said that correctly. The last bit of the what uh, um, but correct me if I'm wrong if you're an actual Chinese speaker or someone who knows Chinese not someone who's Chinese like doesn't really know something but pretends to know something you know the, you know those people so no offense to you but yeah anyway so kind of I've decided to start a new series of me kind of revising slash learning my Chinese work because my finals are coming up and I don't think I've ever said it but I am a Chinese student it is my major <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> but shame that I wouldn't change it for the world because I do low-key enjoy it although it makes me want to pull my hair out most of the time <laughs> Um, <laughs> so I have come up with a slightly, if not brilliant, um, title for this series because of Google Translate. Um, the Chinese title is most likely not even grammatically correct for Chinese, um, but if you put it into Google Translate, it gives you the best title in the world. So I'm going with that as the main title of the series. So the Chinese one is Tai Tuo Han Yu, which I think technically means very bad Chinese. Techni you know, that's my limited knowledge because Tai is very depending on the context. Tuo is uh, bad. Hanyu is spoken Chinese. Um, so, very bad spoken Chinese, essentially. But if you put it into Google Translate, it says too wrong Chinese. And I love that title. <laughs> because Google Translate does everything literally and uses one meaning for a word that has a bajillion meanings. And if you're a language learner, you're gonna end up using Google Translate to try and figure out what you're saying. And if you're saying kind of makes sense, it's like you don't really actually, you don't rely on it because it directly translates things. And a word, especially with Chinese, can have like 12 meanings for one word depending on your context. So it gets a little complicated if you put it into Google Translate. It just it doesn't work sometimes most of the time but just to get the general understanding of what you try and say you normally well I use I don't really use I use it it's kind of like Google Translate is like the Wikipedia <laughs> of languages <laughs> if that makes sense you're not gonna put it as a reference because oh, you're not gonna get anything out of putting like you most likely they're not gonna mark your work if you put Wikipedia as a reference but you kind of use it as a starting point in a way sometimes um, uh, to help you get a better understanding so this series 
is going to be me messing up a lot, me getting very frustrated, and me kind of explaining things, well, trying to figure out what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, you see, it's really off to a really bad start, but hopefully the series, one of us gets something out of this. I don't know. Hopefully. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> I'm mainly doing this because I think it might be funny to watch uh, a beginner language learner who actually really sucks at learning languages because I'm really lazy and I learning languages do do's not. You see, I already suck with English. Imagine me in Chinese. Um, I am not a good language learner, like I, it does not come naturally to me, it's really difficult for me to wrap my head around languages, I don't just pick it up like other people do, and I'm so jealous of them sometimes, <laughs> like how? I'm confused <laughs> most of the time. So that's what this is, it's revision slash actually understanding and learning it, and you're gonna do it with me. So this is an introductory video, um, just explaining what the series is about, um, and I don't know, I'm not going to post I think about it very often, um, just kind of showing progress somehow, but mainly because I need to make notes for my Chinese exam, because that's um, like two books worth of, so like like this I d oh this is wrong way around I don't like but um as well as with the this book yes uh this is book two this is so this is my semester two work and it is all in um wait I actually need to get it is all in Hansa I don't know if you can see it's all in Hansa there's no pinyin which is in the first book, there's pinging on top of the answer. Um, so yes, it does get a little intense sometimes because you're reading it and you're like, I can't remember this character or what this means. So yes, we are going to be going through a lot of emotions in this, this video because I need to work on my translation. And on top of it, there's a bunch of worksheets that my sure has given us to look at I have started some of them um, as you can see um, don't judge my 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 writing don't judge it <laughs> yeah um, but yeah um, that's lesson 17 then we've got lesson 18 and 19 as well and a lot more so that's going to be fun and there's also reading comprehension so we're gonna be doing a lot of work together <laughs> Yay! Um, but yes, um, I I don't know. Um, I'm not exactly sure what either one of us are going are going is going to get out of this. But hopefully, we're gonna get something out of this. So that's the introduction to this, and you will hopefully see a video about it really soon. So, 再见. Hi.